<laughs> Alright, hey all you cool cats! Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I discovered that you can adjust the volume of voices in the game so that way I don't have to hear them talk so loudly. Uh, like basically screaming in battle. I'm glad I realized that. I'm probably sure there's going to be a comment somewhere telling me about it. But it's, it's too late. <laughs> I've discovered it on my own. Anyways, um, I figured we'd go back to Goldmouth. Now, I remembered Boreas or something had something to do here on the blades. Uh, yes, I know I've gotten distracted. Oh, yeah, and I may have pulled um, another blade. I pulled Florin on Nia, um, which you guys will see here. like a driver I can depend on. <laughs> this one's putty in my hands. Oh, nothing. My cuteness can soothe even the savage beast. All right, and that's Florin. So let's go ahead and... Hi there, I was wondering where old Gramps had gone out to. Didn't expect to find him living inside your helmet, Rex. Seems a lot cuter than I recall too. The stern old face, I remember, could have passed for a monster. You two must have been through some crazy stuff. Pretty sure you weren't a driver last I saw you either, eh, Rex? <laughs> yep, things have changed. Um, But I found out you could travel back to Goldmouth like, while I was messing around in the menus, and I figured, hey, I think I had something I could do here in Goldmouth. So let's let's do that. Um, just taking a look around here. Doesn't appear to be anything I can mess with. Look at that. There's like some sort of creature over there. I don't suppose I could actually fight it or anything. Got any interesting info? I've been in the salvaging business 20 years now. Let me give you a bit of advice. The area you salvage in, determine what you'll find. If you can't find what you're looking for in one place, try elsewhere. Say I can't find something up here on the salvage deck. I'll just head over to the maelstrom instead. Oh, and one more thing. Don't be surprised if monsters end up coming after you. Sometimes you've got to make a stand against the critters of the cloud see if you want to get the good stuff. Yeah. Look around, meh! <laughs> Oh yeah, it can buy stuff from places. Fun to play, fun to look. Come see all our musical instrument. So let's go ahead and buy one of everything here again. Um, I did increase the development of the Torgoth place. Um. I think Poppy had something where I need to talk to no pawns. So I should try to make an effort to talk to them. Oh, there's a treasure up there. Oh, another treasure. Do these like refresh? Oh, I do not have the ability to do it. I don't know if treasure chests refresh, but oh, there's someone to talk to here. Pilo Pilo do auction almost every day, but never see core crystal up for sale. This partially because many, not many Nopon have potential as driver, and partially because all core crystal need to be taken to Indol for cleansing, so not end up here like normal goods. Pilo Pilo understands why driver might peek into auction in vain hope of finding crystal, but it's no use really. Alright. Alright, so, I don't know how to get up there. How do we get up there? I'm guessing you must have to drop down from somewhere. Anyways, 
Hey Rex, looks like you've got quite the salvaging business going on there. Been to Central Exchange yet? You should bring your haul along there. Collectibles, treasure, whatever's in your pockets. You'll get a better deal if you sell them off in bulk. Playing the market is a huge favor. Playing the market in your favor is a mark of a true salvager. Thanks for the advice. Poppy, ask this person if they have any helpful information. Is Master Plan being lazy and making Poppy do all the work? The heart of the driver decides what blade comes out of a core crystal. Did you know that? It's not just stuff like weapons and elements that change. Nah. Even the way they grow changes. There are like as many different blades as there are people. Oh, oh, and if you keep trying to bond over and over, then sooner or later you'll meet a super awesome blade. That's pretty neat. Admit it, you're impressed, right? I guess so. I may have already figured that out for myself. I tell you, that last time I take on a that's the last time I take on a salvaging job in an uncharted region. I think we're gonna stick to boring old maintenance work for the time being. It's probably not a bad idea. They selling all sorts of supplies and luxury items at Argentum Bazaar. Like use this one in power set to increase for a limited time. Razzly dazzly, never seen an item like this before, not in Village of Birth. We'll stock up in lots of light items and make much good use of them. Is this thing trying to fight these things? That creature's cute. Oh, there's... I could have sworn I found all the NPCs. Tora, I want to hear gossip. Kokoi always seem to be falling in love with drivers. Drivers all very cool and collected. So hard of Kokoi get go pitter pat. Kokoi want to make self very beautiful by equip accessory, then buy core chips for a lovely driver. Collect many collectibles for make great ox core and stand by driver through many trial. Watch blade grow stronger. Kokoi especially think meme. Kokoi talks so long that lots of customers arrive. Must go back to work. I wonder if he'll give me like some super rare um, ox core later or something. Alright, back to focusing on... I, I know that person's got a quest, but I'll do that later. Hey! So I hear someone seriously vandalized the water tower in Toragoth. Naturally, I felt I should do something to chip in. Any respectable Gormati would do the same. I already sent them over some iron, so here's hoping they'll be able to restore it. But who'd do like a thing like that anyway? Was it that Torna bunch that everyone's been talking about? No, it was us. I kind of feel bad that they're getting blamed for everything. Oh, can't even buy from him because it's it's too busy. So none of them have been offering me a deed anywhere. I don't think he can offer anything. Salvager, probably not. Looking to transfer some cash. How much do you want to send? I don't have any money to send. Poonin was looking very tired when coming back. Apparently he got caught up in storm and attacked by Torna terrorists. All sound very nasty. Chairman Bana also seemed busy sorting everything out. Can I come in and talk to Bana? Meh, unbelievable. How come everyone around here is so incompetent? Bana should have known can only trust self when to get job done. Everyone else just worthless trash. What are you looking at? I'm busy cleaning up after incompetent fools. Get out of Bana's sight. Treasure <laughs> acquired. Serves him right. Tor, want to hear gossip? Me and Harkhal, we have a flair for dancing. That's why Bana took a shine to us, and now we're his personal dancing girls and secretaries. Though, if I'm honest, I think he likes Harghal more than he likes me. At any rate, I'm grateful for how well he treats us, and I enjoy the work. I almost wish life could go on like this forever. When we don't 
When we don't have work to do for Bana, Kruja and I talk about dancing. We could never have made a living as dancers back in our hometown, so we made the right choice coming here. It's lovely to be able to work together with someone who shares my passion for dancing. And the pay's great, too. Well, I mean, as long as you're happy. I think that's the important part. You shouldn't judge someone's, um, lifestyle. Oh, this little guy's got a quest for me. I'll remember you later. What the heck? Um, oof. I missed it. Well, there's a no pawn down here for me to talk to anyways. Cylinder is most important item for any salvager. With no cylinder, not able to salvage. Even within Goldmouth, different salvage spots have different treasures. There is salvage deck here, then Goldmouth flight deck and maelstrom. Friends should try to salvage in many different places. Sometimes when salvaging, scary, scary monster pop out of Cloud Sea, though. So, twit twee, twit twee, twee twee, maybe you'd rather stay here and not salvage. That seems safer. Tortor, try to study history from salvage artifacts. Have you heard anything interesting lately? No one really knows if salvage goods really used in the way they describe today. Good example is Giant's Black Ring. Looks like ring for a very giant finger, but then what happened to Giant? That's pretty neat. It piqued your imagination, no? Everything's so interesting. <laughs> man, man, this is not good at all. Why should Renta Renta do with empty warehouse? If nobody used, better to give to someone for free. Something bothering friend. Meh meh. You people, drivers and blades? Renta Renta inherit useless warehouse from salvager data pawn. No use to me, so wondering what to do. But maybe some blades of friends want extra space to use? Wanting bookcase maybe? Or just place to store lots of favorite stuff? If driver willing, me rent out lovely warehouse to driver friends. Low, low price of... 100,000 gold. Didn't I just hear you say something about free? Well, if friend finds way into warehouse without opening door, by all means use to heart's content. But if friends pay 100,000, me open door and friends can use freely. Hmm, too pricey? Then Renta Renta makes slightly better offer. Renta Renta cannot make any better, better offer than this. If, ren if friends change mind, come back to see Renta Renta anytime. Are you kidding me? I think that's what I need for that, um, Boreas. Meh meh, salvage is so cool. The Mooly, the Mooly wish also, could also do salvaging work instead of just guard job. But the Mooly suppose it not so bad, just gazing out at Cloud Sea. Okay, so I need how much money? Oh god. Pfft, okay, so basically a hundred thousand. Goodness. I don't know where I'm gonna get that kind of money. <gasps> fishy fishy deeds! I actually got one! Heck yes! No pawn wisdom too. I think that was the quest where I had to talk to no pawns. Oops. Poppy feels stronger. Yep. Oh, okay. So I need to do more musical instruments. Aha! Okay, so let me go find... Where did I buy that one? I guess I'll talk to this person first. Poppy, ask this person if they have any inform useful information. Oh, blah 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 blah. I'm not sure if friends know, but there are three levels of blade combo. Well, well that what boyfriend told Etoto, anyway. Anyway, boyfriend took on receiving end of combo. 
took long, long time to recover. Tempires seem to rise slowly. Rum tum tum. Okay, I've bought one of everything from this place. There are quests here, but I feel like we need to go back and do the quests in Torgoth first. <laughs> what an episode. This is going to be an episode of just doing quests. Ah, yes. So we still, we're still looking for um, flower spots for that one quest. But we also need to turn in those muscle branches, which I did obtain. Alright, so... Yeah, I made sure to grab those muscle branches because we weren't going to pay that kind of money for this. There it is. Trade goods. Okay, that's what we needed. So now we can go... Here, friend, take! Oh, that must have been heavy. Thanks for looking at all the way here. With this, I'll definitely be able to make the finest furniture Gormot's ever seen, and on schedule, too. I've got a thing or two to say to that uppity little Ardanian, but... Well, that's no reason to do a shoddy job, am I right? I've got my pride, as any artisan should. I know that every craftsman in Torgoth feels the same way. Thank you, friends. Truly, I am in your debt. I don't want to think about... Think where I'd be if I hadn't talked to you back then. If at the end of your road you decide to settle down somewhere, I'll be honored to make you an armoire. Nicely done. We are so helpful. Oh, oh Florin's happy. Thank you kindly for all your hard work. I'd be able to make some create some fine furniture thanks to you. I don't think my esteemed customer from more and more ordain will have room to complain now. My son's learned a valuable lesson too. Not so flippant about his errand running now, let me tell you. My leg's finally back to normal. I can run and jump with it like nothing ever happened. I'm trying my best to help out without getting attacked by monsters now. Oh, and I tried building something all by myself now. A little bookcase. It's so hard to cut wood straight. I don't know how Dad does it. Well, it's cool that you're helping your father out. So, Florin... Okay, unlocked Looks another like tree. So we have collect HP potion. We'll get that in battle. Raise affinity in combat, easy. Acquire vegetables from collectibles list. Acquire flowers. Interesting. I don't quite understand what that does. My trainer gave me some really useful advice. The closer a driver and blade are to each other, the stronger they'll be. And the more you fight alongside your blade and the more missions you complete, the more your trust will gain. On the other hand, the more your blade grows, the more you get to grow as a driver. Basically, everyone's a winner. When I finally get to be a driver, I want to make best friends with my blade. I guess I'm looking for a specific flower somewhere. Like this is probably giving me tree points, right? Not actually flowers. No, maybe it is. It's vegetable. I'm looking for like... Something like a hikinth? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep grabbing from flowers until we figure this out. Come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. Please open your hearts to me. That did not do it. There is a person here with the quest. Ah, that looks fun. Hi there. 
Hiya! Is something wrong? I want to play with them too, except I can't swim. And when everyone's having fun at the water side, I just stand here feeling daft. I like to practice my swimming, but without the equipment I need, it's all a bit tough. I heard about a plant that grows on Cooley Lake called Buiweed. It floats on water, so it'd be perfect for swimming lessons, but the monsters grow near where Buiweed grows, so I can't just pick it. I, got, I nearly got eight last time I tried. Well, I'll be out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. You'll pick some for me? Well, three of them should be enough to get me keep afloat. Thanks a bunch. Boy can't swim. <laughs> sure. What have we here? So these are just gonna be fish. But it's like you shouldn't pass up any of the gathering points ever, because you're probably gonna need them anyways. Please open your heart. Come out! Come out! Ah, so it's a special key item. So that boy with the quest was somewhere here, wasn't he? Where'd he go? Where'd the little kid go? Did he go down by the lake? Did I just walk right past him? Oh, maybe he's only out at daytime? That makes too much sense. Okay, well. <laughs> what? No, no, me not in pain. Me was singing. Meh, need to get better at singing. Me no, but how? <laughs> Kisasa love grilled and curtailed more than anything. Tasty, tasty food give Kisasa strength. Every person has favorite things, not just food. Things like music, instruments, and artworks too. The effect runs out quite quick. Kisasa likes to stock up on lots on favorite things, then use for training. If friends going on adventure, maybe try buy favorite things before leaving. <gasps> oh, speaking of, I saw a heart to heart that I could actually um, initiate. While I was exploring. No, I missed the treasure chest. Rip. So we'll probably go ahead and do that too while I'm waiting for daytime to roll around. Okay, let's try and not flub this. Treasure acquired. Meh meh. Meh meh meh. Friends know about Skillo. Mochichi. Very sneaky indeed. Since day Mochichi was born, Mochichi seeks salvagers come and go. Developed great skill of judging salvager ability. Also, fair and honest is motto of Mochichi. So Mochichi offers service of ranking salvagers. Yes, yes, so friends want Mochichi to judge salvager ability. Alright, Mochichi rank friends. But Mochichi requires small cash fee for ranking service. Meh meh. Friend looks at Mochichi with scornful eye. Oh, but Mochichi do good service. When friends gain rank, give special reward for free as person. So friends pay fee for ranking now, yes? Up and coming young salvager Rex ranker salvager should be congratulations Rex at rank E. But by Mochichi standards, that's still only baby of salvaging. Yes, baby of baby salvager. About same level as Tiwi <laughs> Tiwi. Still, Mochichi keep promise. Give present for achieving rank. <laughs> oh no, maybe Mochichi give friend shiny new rank for small fee. There was like a way to jump down to friend very unusual to come all the way out here and talk to Furara. Furara was not trying to do anything dangerous, especially when no palm born in Voltis Trade Guild become five years old, must go out alone for initiation called walkie walkie. 
Really, truly, <laughs> look at them jumping around down there. First stop on journey is Goldmouth. Fora must take a look at fellow Nopon at Argentum Trade Guild. So Fora was studying very closely activities of soldiers at Unfamiliar Guild. <laughs> but thought of that amount of hard work make Fora not want to become grown up. Lotus Trade Guild Walkie Walkie Guide books say when Walkie Walkie No Pond becomes sad, time to move on. Next place to next go to place with wonderful view, get fresh feeling, and forget sad things. Maybe Full Rara destined to meet friend again. Best of luck. <laughs> There's so much in this game. I guess I might as well start new quests since I honestly don't have anything better to do. Left all clear, right all clear, front all clear, gold mouth a okay, but GGB shift not a okay. Lemuli is supposed to take over watch when GGB time is up, but Lemuli already 3,821 seconds late. This thousandth time now, and thousandth time GGB will miss Dindins. GGB want to find Lemuli and scold him whole day long. But Gigabi must keep watch. Gigabi sleep sleepy. Gigabi so hungry. If you beg for assistance, we might be willing to help. Well, come on, let's just help out. Mama, you want to help Gigabi? Thank you, Gigabi, ever so grateful. Please find Lemuli and tell him that it's time to relieve watch. Thank you, friends. Oh, that remind me. He probably find Lemuli watching salvaging. He always lose track of time when doing that. Okay, did I already see Lemuli? I assume he's down here. Aha. Salvaging so cool, Lemuli could watch it all day. Meh, Lemuli felt like he forgot something. Meh, 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 watch duty! This thousand time, Giga be going to get so angry. Meh, meh, meh. Yes. The Mooly watched salvaging for so long, he forgot his tummy was grumbly, grumbly. Ugh, the Mooly can't move one inch. The Mooly shrivel up and die here. Remember the Mooly fondly. Take pity on poor the Mooly. Someone help the Mooly. There's no kind people around. If only Lemuli could eat Cinnapon Roll from Honeycomb Sweets, Lemuli would have energy to work. Just one, one single small Cinnapon Roll. I'm pretty sure I have it. I bought everything everywhere. You did it! It's Cinnapon Roll! Lemuli, eat it up right now! Wait, no, wait, no! No time for that! Lemuli have terrible problem! While Lemuli stands around dreaming of Cinnapon Rolls, precious treasure gets stolen by Sly Crabble! Very, very important pendant from Mama Pond. The Mooly must get pendant back. Ah, the Mooly have good idea. The Mooly will become salvager and salvage Sly Crabble. Foolproof. The Mooly starts swimming practice first thing tomorrow. Friend help the Mooly with swimming practice. Oh, just get pendant back from the Mooly instead? Friend very kind to get the Mooly both Cinnapon roll and pendant as well. Sly Crabble probably already returned to depths of Cloud Sea. If Lemuli get Pendant, he can work. Lemuli save Cinnapon roll until Pendant is returned. What? He's <laughs> just adding more and more things to his list. Uh, let's buy one more. Dive with five of these things. Maybe that'll be a Sly Crabble? It's definitely a Crabble. It's also sly. Easy. Treasure acquired. Mmm, Cinnabon roll so tasty. Ah, uh, friends! The Mooly was not eating Cinnapon Roll. The Mooly only eat half of Cinnapon Roll. Meh, the Mooly's pendant. Thank you. This is the Mooly's special memories of Mama Pond. Meh, the Mooly think too much about pendant and forget to relieve Gigabee of watch duty. 
Melina, keep Gigabi waiting. Bye, friends. <laughs> I think you left him waiting all night. Oh my goodness. He's He was hungry. He wanted to go home for dinner. It is now 9 a.m. <sighs> I'm sorry. Ah, thanks a lot. Gigabee pass watch duty to the Muli, no problemo. The Muli smashed previous lateness records of 7,691 seconds. I think it was longer than that. But because this happened a thousand times, Gigabee planned to lecture him for three days and three nights. But the Muli gave Gigabee half of delicious Cinnapon rolls, so Gigabee forgive him. Gigabee not monster. Generosity of Gigabee, why is Cloud C? Oh, sit up on roll, make Gigaby sleepy. Here is a reward from generous Gigaby. If you see suspicious activity aboard Gold Mouth, please report to Gigaby or Lemuli. Better late than never. Oh, we can talk to them now. What cylinders friend use when going salvaging? With pricey cylinders, it's hard to justify purchase. The Willy know. But pricey cylinder also much better treasure quality. So likely better treasures. So when friends have money to spare, the Willy think better to stretch a little and buy pricey cylinder sometimes. Me switch with the Willy for guard duty, but cannot help keeping eye open for suspicious characters. Please report suspicious individuals to Gigaby anytime. Even while on break. Gigaby is such a hard worker. Hi there. Yo, we're just about to play hide and seek. If friend have anything, please come see later. Wait, friend maybe look like friend want to play with us? Oh, that not occur to me. Well, if you insist, it's okay. We can all play together, but you're seeking first. Wow, you're eager. Okay, me explain rules. Hiding in any area is... Hiding area is anywhere on Goldmouth ground level. When we include higher floors, the game goes on for days and days. Then Mama Pong get angry. Anyhow, when we find everyone, meet back here in Bower Lounge. Got it? Tori get it. Hiding area not big, but we very good at hiding. Friend no think it go easy. Yeah, we play hide and seek every day. We'll hide like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we go hide now, so friend count to 100 before looking, yes? Alright. So there's a purple one, a yellow one, and I guess a cat boy? So I imagine they're going to be in some place sneaky. Ah, I see you sneaky sneaky. Alright. Oh, hey. That's how you get to this treasure chest. Alright, let's get sneaky sneaky. Meh, 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 meh! But sneaky sneaky, so nondescript, usually hard to find even when not hiding properly. Friend must have amazing power of observation. Okay, sneaky sneaky, go ahead and wait in Bower Lounge. Okay, so I think I saw another one of them. Yeah, right there. How do I get there? Oh, rats, you found me already? I'm oh, sure I had the perfect hiding place as well. So lame. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm glad you didn't take it easy on me. Okay, I'll go wait in the Bower Lounge. Okay. And now we can use... The fact that we can cheat to locate the last one. I wasn't even looking at the, uh, the thing. Friend, find me inside cask? Unfair! Please excuse. Talulu was the one who was unfair. Afton, sneaky sneaky, never find Talulu here. Eyes of friend must be very strong. Meh, so Talulu was last? Okay, me go back to Bower Lounge now. 
Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to find you because you cheated. So I don't feel bad about using little navigation to find you. Everyone here now! Friend find Talulu already? Yes, friend is hide and seek genius. Here, here. Anyhow, thank friend for playing. It's no problem at all. Meh. I have to, have to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Thanks for playing. My parents are both b too busy to play with me ever. But today was real fun. Really, thanks a lot for playing with us. You can come play with us anytime. Um, here's thank you gift from Sneaky Stinky and friends. It, ta it like scrap of treasure for us. Or maybe just scrap. Anywho, please take. Anyways, I guess you have places to go. Come and play again. See you around. What do we get? A muscle belt. Sneaky Sneaky have not much presence, so always end up hearing grown-ups say things Sneaky Sneaky not supposed to hear. Sneaky Sneaky give an example. Attacks not just for dealing damage, sometimes they have additional effects as well. Unfortunately, Sneaky Sneaky have a low reading level for own age, so not sh exactly sure what that means. <laughs> Friends of T, heard of Twinkle Juice? Talulu love Twinkle Juice! And when Talulu get favorite food, Talulu can feel energy channeling through body. Friends should definitely take lots of yummy snacks on adventure, but maybe not to overeat because could cause cavities and then get telling off from Mama Pon. I just thought of something cool. Drivers and blades are always together, right? Doesn't that mean they can play hide and seek whenever they want? I'm gonna, I'm still gonna become a driver. It's a little sad hearing about how like he doesn't feel like his parents care about him because they're too busy but I assume they're just like working whoa that's got some pretty big requirements ah quest meh 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 no, Pamba, I'm not okay at all. Pompa was just about to complete 40 hours of flight training and get licensed for flying as much as Pompa want. Pompa always dreamed of zipping about all our skies, eating delicious treats of every place, but gah. Pompa have a little problem now. Nagging hunger in Pompa's stomach, very distracting. I'm not sure myself, but I'm sure if we can work together, we can find something. So hungry, must eat, must eat something. Do you just need any food? just had to fill up the bar. Oof, stomach full, no more. Gnawing hunger gone quiet. Now Pon Pon can train effectively. Thank you, kind friend. Pon Pon will surely show his gratitude when 40 hours training is complete. Meh meh. Thanks to silly flight error that stopped Pon Pon flying very far last time. Pon Pon still have 39 hours and 55 minutes of training left to complete. Pon Pon make fly all the way to Gourmont. Must fly now! Oh no. I'm guessing we're gonna have to feed him wherever he lands. <laughs> Since Benny Nopon is merchant, is Nopon tendency to think about efficiency and everything? That all manifest in Nopon food. Use lots of oil, fry quick on strong fire, then food done. Food very quickly and full of nutrient, very efficient, very Nopon cooking way. Rododo personally good at making lightly fried rice while reading historical document. Of course, this also mean precious historical documents get covered in oil. <laughs> Where is this quest? Oh, you. Bother, bother. Can't use no pawn as muscle. You can't just ask the Ardanians. Mm, oh, hi. Well, actually, I've got some cargo in the harbor that I brought from Uraya to trade, but it's ever so slight nuisance. Someone's causing trouble. That's a good guess, except it's not exactly a person. It seems that Trent Crabbles love the stuff I'm transporting. To get it, they clamber on deck and try to steal the cargo. I hired some goons to stand guard, but they all got done in. 
So, I'm out of here now, looking for someone to replace them with. I'm having no luck so far, so it's starting to feel a bit dire. You're saying you'll take the job? <laughs> Thanks a bunch, pal. We're one in a million. The cargo's in Goldmouth Return Port. It's pretty large. You can't miss it. It'd be great if you could chase off the thieving Trent Crabbles. Thanks in advance. I don't know if there's any purpose to doing all these quests. Well, I don't think the Trent Crabbles are going to come back anytime soon. Let's go let you all know. Thank you! Thanks to you chasing off the Trent Crabbles, I was able to make my delivery. I'm really grateful to you. I'd feel better if someone tough like yourself could guard my wares, but uh... No! If those Trent Crabbles come snooping again, I'll try hiring some mercenaries from Garfont. They say those mercs are buff as buff can be. But I digress. Here, your reward for protecting my wares. Please take it. Give me lots of money, please. I mean, it was something, I guess. There he is. It's still daylight. You brought the buoy weed? Thanks, I'll be able to practice now. I'll just tie it to myself and safely float. That'll keep my face out of the water, which is a big win for me. I bet I'll be swimming in no time. Thank you for your trouble. Thanks. So I still need to find those flowers. This might be flowers. <laughs> nope. It's a log and a bug. What the? Getting minced up here, not fit plans with Pon Pon. Pon Pon have hopes and dreams of eating world's tasty treats. I actually came over here to do that. The um, hand in hand thing. <laughs> or heart, whatever. Wow, those eyes looking at Pon Pon is a Pon Pon paste tasty treat. Ah, oh, kind friend who give Pon Pon tasty treat. <laughs> Will friend help again? I mean, I guess we have to. Whoa, they're level 25. Oh my gosh. That's level 25. It's fine. We'll get them yet. It's oh god, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is fun. I wanted to do that heart to heart. Oh no. Oh no. I have I have caused myself problems. Oh, I made it. We're back here. This is where my whole adventure with Rex really began. Oh, right. This must be the spot where you and Rex washed up. No, we only made it here thanks to Gramps' efforts. And those efforts are the reason I'm like this now. Well, if you stayed that big, you couldn't exactly travel with us. I'd say you're just right. If I was my old self, I'd be able to carry you anywhere. Well, anywhere within reason. The world tree would be pushing it. Amazing! So how long it take you to get to Argentum from here? 
At the current separation, let's see... About ten days' travel. That long? You do it faster than that or you'll taste the whip, is what I'm hearing. Of course, that's not what I mean. But that's like three or four days by boat. My apologies. I'm not as young as I used to be. What is point of worrying now Grant's not big anymore? True enough. That old body is a thing of the past. Well, I think you are adorable like this. I like it. Well, that's very kind of you, Pyra. Are you blushing, oldster? Oh, tell me, Rex, do you ever wish I was in my old form? I think you're better like this. Oh, you prefer me this way? It's cool to have you riding on my back for a change. Just hearing you encourage me from behind really sets my heart at ease. And when you were big, we couldn't just, you know, hang out or walk together. I like being able to stay close. I see, I see. You look rather pleased, Deserta. If I were to be honest, Rex's helmet is a little cramped. Not to mention the jolting and bumping and bouncing around. It's enough to make me lose my lunch at times. But hearing Rex say that, for the first time, it made me think that perhaps this was actually a good thing. I'm sorry about the jolting. Looks like I've got to get used to this situation too. That's all right, Rex. I'll keep the words of encouragement coming. I shall endeavor to become ever more reliable. Um... Actually, if you're planning on nagging me constantly, maybe I'll pass. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have Drew Max nagging voice in my ear all the time either. Cheeky sods. <laughs> heart to heart, the real Gramps complete. Nice. This can't be good. Yeah. Look out, everyone. They can keep that though. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to come back to that later. But I really came down here in hopes of finding um come out, come out. Flora, those flowers. Because I don't know where they would be. Hot orange, cranberry. Nope, nope. None of those. Hmm. I don't like how everything's spoopy levels over here. Come out, come out. So there's the mint fish, which was like one of the ingredients. So you would think if that's an ingredient, surely the other ones would be nearby, right? <gasps> Hustle Hikens! Oh, they were I would never have thought that is where I would find them, if I'm going to be honest. Maybe the NPC tells you where to go. Oh my god. I was this close to just being like, I'm going to stop the recording and look for this off stream. Or not off stream, but really just off the recording. Okay, so Torigoth. Let's go turn this, turn this in, and I have been recording for over an hour and a half, so I am probably gonna and we're you. Let us go. call it quits after this quest. I transferred here thinking Gormot was a peaceful place, but now we even have to deal with terrorists and even Lady Morag can't catch? How are Grunflika's gonna stand a chance? Torna must be seething after we caught one of their own. What if they're out to exact their revenge? Even if I wanted to go back to Homeland with Consul Dougal gone, there's nobody to grant approval. I can't take it anymore. None of us are going to leave this place alive. This guy is, uh... <coughs> that guy needs to take a chill pill.
Hello, did you get those ingredients yet? Oh, thank you so very much. Thanks to you, I'll be able to make my incredible pie. Well, I would be able to if my stove hadn't broken down. We've got this custom-made stove at home, you see. It's a real devil to fix when it breaks, and it's always breaking down. My husband's usually the one who sorts it out for me. It's one of those funny old machines which needs a tender touch. It reminds me of why I married him. Yes, actually, he's not just good with stoves. One time, this really nasty bunnet came to town and he... Oh, look at me. I'm getting carried away chatting again. Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, getting that funny old stove fixed. My husband's out cutting wood, and I don't know when he'll be back, so I'm not sure how to get that stove fixed. You aren't any good at fixing stoves, are you? Ah, I've had a brainwave. Why don't you go and find the craftsman who built our stove and bring him here? His name is Glynn. You'll find him in the Torgoth market, I bet. I'm so sorry to keep asking you to do all the, me all these favors, but could you go and get him for me? Well, thank you so much. I'll give you something really nice if you take care of this. Some sort of pie or whatever she was talking about. I honestly did not decide to remember that much information. Glenn. <laughs> oh, what's up? Got a bit of job for me, have you? Oh, I see. Twainina needs her stove sorted out again, does she? Well, I'm your man. The cost of the work will be about 3,000 gold, I'll say. I'll need a payment up front, though. I'm a bit of a stickler for that. It's my wife, see? She goes bananas when I give people credit. Honestly, I'm more scared of getting it in the air from her than this bloody titan falling down. So if you don't mind, I'll need paying first for the sake of my sanity. Although, maybe there's one way I could do it for nothing. There's something I want to give my wife, you see. She's pretty fierce, but she does right by me, she does. So I wanted to get her this nifty little thing called Chain of Keys. I don't sell any around here, though. Maybe you salvagers could fish one up from somewhere? That's the sort of thing you do, isn't it? Yes, get me a Chain of Keys, and I'll call it quits on fixing the stove. I'll be happy with the cash if you can't find one, though. Either way, I'm a happy chappy. Let me know when you got it sorted. I'm pretty sure I have the chain of keys. Well, thank you ever so much. That's a real big help to me. I've never been able to get something like this with a little bit of money my the wife lets me spend. I'll head over to Twainaz and get her stove fixed then. I'll, it'll be right as rain in no time. So has her husband just been, like, dealing with a faulty stove this whole time? And just, like, barely fixing it? Instead of, like, calling a proper craftsman to fix it? Jump down from up here because I saw this person down here. A long time ago there was a city in Gormont known only as the White Chair. It had the oldest and richest history of any city in the land and boasted a fortress many considered impenetrable. But that city was destroyed by the Ardanian Empire, raised to the ground until nothing remained. The destruction of the White Chair was what prompted Gormot to surrender their sovereignty to Moradain. But this all happened long before I was born. I don't resent Moradain for what their ancestors did. It's awfully nice of him. I didn't even realize there was a store down here. Oh my gosh. I need to see if these people will uh, sell me their the deed to their place in exchange. I'm glad I fell down here. Finding more shops on oh, a new quest. Ah, uh, I'll pick up the quest. Oh, there's got to be someone who can help. I don't want to lose. Oh, hey, you there? Yeah, you. Listen, have you heard of this pale beetle called the Snow White Rhino? I've got a bet going on with my mate, Leaf, to see who can find one first, but just recently I heard something awful. Apparently, Leaf asked this old guy he knows to go find a Snow White Rhino beetle for him. I mean, sure, Seagull Fell is dangerous for kids, but come on, seriously? Unfair, right? Right? Seriously? That's why I want you to go and fetch a snow white rhino for me, too. This has just become a proxy war. If Leaf's gonna use this mean trick like this, then so will I. My mom's no help. She tells me not to go anywhere dangerous, but she tells me not to let him beat me, too. Anyway, this is real lucky for me. You'll help out, right? Awesome, thanks. Snow white rhinos like to hang out near Seagull Fell. 
down near the tail end of Gormon. Oh, but apparently they only come out early in the morning. It's basically all I know. Eh, you'll work it out for, sh for sure. I'll make sure to have some sort of reward ready for you. Look forward to it. I don't think I have one. I haven't been to the tail end. So I'm just going to pick up that quest. And we'll do it later when we're finishing with the story. Oh, there you are. The repairs are all done and dusted now. Do it right, fast, and cheap. That's my motto, but it doesn't rhyme or anything, but it's still a good motto. Oh, hello there, driver. Thanks for helping me out so much. Looks like everything worked out. He's fixed up the new stove so well you'd think it was brand new. Oh, it makes me think of the days my husband brought it home, it does. Nice to think that the stove is still going strong, like our marriage. Well, my husband's going to be home soon, so I best get cracking on this pie. It's a family secret, this pie, you know, passed down through the generations. Oh, there I go again. Once I start talking, I can't stop. I said I'll give you a little something for going through all that trouble, didn't I? I don't think it'll be enough to just let you have a slice of pie, so I'll give you the recipe. Now you'll be able to make my fancy pie anytime you like. It's not easy, mind. Thank you so much. Yay! We got... Oh, look at all this affinity boosting we got going on here. <laughs> oh, there's a character over here to talk to. Cook ability is skill to be proud of. People who can cook can should cook lots and lots. Nobody no wide variety of recipe from very start. Let's just make it fun to learn new recipe, expand cooking horizon. Cooking made with love fills stomach and also heart. Put big smile on face. Come on, let's make lots of food in kitchen. Okay, so I think we need to like look at what we've unlocked on this. That's what you get if you keep at it. Flame Nova, Blazing End. Deal a critical hit. Walk a lot. I am very close to getting that. <laughs> uh, favorite pouch item from the drinks category. Make food. Oh, I need to make food. Interesting. Okay. His did not unlock. New abilities acquired. Okay. I think this is where we're going to call it for the end of this episode. I know we didn't do any story stuff really. We just kind of did quests and talked to NPCs. But sometimes that's all you do. And there's still more NPCs to talk to. My goodness. But with that being said, I'm going to call it quits here. Next time we play, we'll probably do some actual story and possibly even more quests. I'm going to go ahead and probably either pull for more blades or more 100% more likely is do more Tiger Tiger. Um, and get Poppy more stuff. I guess I haven't shown you how much I've, I've done of... I haven't done that much, but... I'll close out this episode with showing you Poppy. <laughs>